if you really want those abs to show, if you really want everything to pop out uh, while and you want that physical appearance, then you have to change up your YouTube, what's good? Jake here. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the thumbnail, we have completed the 30 day ab routine that I've created. You can see the thumbnail shows my day one to day 30 results. This journey was honestly incredible. I had such a blast doing it. Every single day was a challenge. And I wanna share a little bit about the exercises that I did and just what kind of was challenging overall. But first and foremost, if you wanna see the document that I used, if you wanna follow the actual ab routine that I went through, just go to the link in my description below and you can download that free document there for you. So with that being said, before I jump into the exercises and show you guys some clips and some videos of what I was doing specifically to work every I have muscle group on my body. Let me just tell you what the most challenging thing was that I experienced. Honestly, over the course of these past 30 days, the hardest thing was the mental aspect. It wasn't actually like doing the exercises, it was the mental part of it. It was having those days where I'm waking up because I would do the ab exercise routine every single morning and then I work out later in the afternoon. So it was waking up every morning and sometimes being like, I really don't want to do this, but I have dedication, right? I'm, I have this challenge for 30 days and creating these videos is gives me the motivation to want to just go down there and bang it out and then get back in to my apartment. So that was honestly the biggest challenge is the mental aspect, right? If I'm in the gym, there's some times where I'm like, it's, it's more challenging than other days, but I'm going to get through it, right? And that was the, that's the most rewarding thing I feel like from these 30 days, not just the appearance of having the abs, having the looks, but the mental side of the whole entire challenge. It gave me the mental toughness. So now let's jump right into the exercises that I chose specifically to work each single part of the muscle groups on my abs. So it's important to know when you're gonna work your abs, you have to start low to bottom. The lower portion of your abs are much harder to work and they actually fatigue a lot quicker. So you wanna start with the more difficult parts of your abs. So I started with this portion right in the middle, which is called the rectus abdominis. You have the upper portion and you have the lower portion. So I, start, so I started with the lower rectus abdominis. And what I did was my favorite ab exercise. I love this one so much. I do it all the time. Um, even before this 30 day challenge, it's the hanging ab raise. So what you do is you get up on a pull up bar. And the most important takeaway here is that you have to have full range of motion to get the benefits out of this exercise. When you're up on the pull up bar, you want to first activate your scaps so you're not hanging and sl slouching down into your shoulders. So you're up top and then you swing your legs behind your bum and then you swing your legs all the way up to the top of your feet. So as high as you can go. If you can't get to the top of your feet and you're watching this, and you're like, I cannot get that high. That's fine. Try to go to an L formation. If that doesn't work, just raise your knees. So this is what I was doing. Over time, there was there was days where I, like I said, it was challenging. I, I really was, I was in the gym and I'm like, this is tough. I, already starting the workout and I'm like fatigued, I'm tired. So I'll just do L. I'll raise my legs up to an L formation and then maybe when I was doing it for 30 to 60 seconds, I'd raise my, my knees up and I would just do it like that. But the important takeaway here is I'm having full range of motion while doing this, this first ab exercise and I'm not rocking my upper torso. So my upper body as I'm hanging up on that pull up bar, it's still. The only thing that's moving is my lower torso, right? My, my hips are curling underneath and then they're flexing up. They're contracting to lift, to actually focus on lifting the upper portion of my abs to curl and bring my feet up. That's really, really important. So each single ab exercise I did was actually timed. There was no sets, there was no reps. I did every single ab exercise, the five of them, for 30 to 60 seconds. So the second ab exercise, now we're moving from the lower portion of our abs to the transverse abdominis. So we're moving bottom to top, like I said. So we just hit the lower portion of the rectus abdominis. Now, we were gonna, now we're gonna hit the transverse abdominis. Now the transverse abdominis, it comes across your body like a belt right it's right at your waist it's like it's like a belt you could look at the actual muscle design i'll even link a picture up here it looks like the muscles creating an actual belt like a belt buckle or around your waist so the exercise i did here was i'm on the pull-up bar still right i take a little rest after the first exercise i did for 30 to 60 seconds i'll take a 15 to 20 second rest and then i'll hop back on there and i'll do twisting hanging ab raise so instead of coming straight up 
like I was saying with swinging my legs behind me and then bringing my legs all the way up to the top of my hands. Instead of doing that, all I'm doing is twisting my body in the motion of my transverse abdominus muscle. So I'm bringing my legs up and I'm twisting them to one side of my hands and then I'm twisting them to the other. And like I said, if this is too hard, all you do is just raise your knees up and twist it to one side and twist it to the other. All I'm doing is going in the motion of that ab muscle, the transverse abdominus, and I'm not rocking my upper body. My upper body is still. The only thing that move, is moving is my lower body. All right, the next ab exercise on our list is the high cable pull down. We are now working our obliques, our external and internal obliques. So like I said, we're starting low and moving up. We went to the lower rectus abdominis, the transverse abdominis, and now we're on our external and internal obliques. If you first look at this picture right here, you can see the design of this muscle, okay? This muscle comes at you like a diagonal. So what do you do? Like I said, in every single exercise, you work it in that direction. So I take a cable, right? I put the hook on and I step out a little further in front of me and I pull that across my body in the direction of the oblique muscles. Right, this is gonna work your external and internal, both obliques. This exercise was actually a little challenging. It's one of the more challenging ones that I had for this whole entire ab exercise routine, only because that you have to have really, really a good amount of control when going through this. You can't just throw your body through the whole thing and use your arms to do it because then you're not really focusing on using your abs to go in the motion of pulling the actual cable and then slowly coming back. And that's what I did. Every movement I did, I had power, right? You could even use your foot if you want to, to twist and really drive force from your abs and then slowly come back to really get that eccentric motion on the way up from the, the ab. So even keep that um, cable up high because you want to go high to low in the direction of the ab muscles. And then what I did was just switch to the other side and then work the other side of my obliques. So now we're moving on to the upper rectus abdominis. So this is the second to last ab exercise. And what I did for this one was the rope pull down. Now I started out with not having an actual rope in my gym. Uh, they had like this uh, little bar that came out as a triangle, which worked for the time. Uh, but then about, I'd say a couple weeks in, I saw that my gym actually had a rope and this was perfect. So I started using that for this exercise. Now the thing you wanna keep in mind here, it's very, very important for this specific exercise. As you can see, I'm on my knees. Now, what you wanna keep in mind is that I'm not rocking back, I'm not sitting my bum back to, to my feet. What I'm doing is I'm only moving and pulling down the upper portion of my abs. I'm like scooping my body, right? I'm like really coming in really close into my, my head to my chest and scooping down low and then coming right back up, right? as I inhale at the top and I exhale coming down. That's important. I mentioned that in all my videos that breathing is very, very important. It's really important here, right? You start with a big inhale at the top. I do it through my nose and then you exhale as you, you exhale sharply as you come through that motion and you're pulling down, right? You're not just pulling that rope down, but you're pulling from your upper portion of your abs, the upper rectus abdominis. All right, the final ab exercise I did was for my serratus anterior. It looks like the gills on your body. It's called the punching muscle. So. I did a body weight exercise for this and it's called the serratus press. So the serratus anterior press, you just get into a plank motion, as you can see here. And all I'm doing is I'm pressing from those gills, right? I'm pressing from the serratus anterior. I'm not pressing from my arms, right? My, my upper body is not doing any work here. All I'm doing is I'm inhaling as I sink my actual chest down to the floor. And then I'm exhaling sharply as I come to the top. While you do this exercise, you should really feel the contraction of that muscle being used. And you should feel it actually starting to burn as you do this for 30 to 60 seconds. So there you have it guys. That is the whole ab routine that I did. Like I said, you can check the link in the description below if you wanna do this in your own gym. And if you don't wanna go into your gym, I also put in an at home workout that you can do for 30 days and it focuses on the same muscle groups that we have talked about in this video. Keep in mind that the biggest thing is consistency. Having consistency with doing this ab routine was the reason I got my results, right? I made sure that I was waking up every day and I was going down there, I had my routine set in motion and I was hitting this every single day for 30 days straight and that's why I saw the results I got. But the biggest thing that you can take away from this whole entire video is that it starts in the kitchen. If you really want those abs to show, if you really want everything to pop out uh, while and you want that physical appearance, then you have to change up your diet before you can actually see something in the gym, right? The gym follows. 
That's what I see it as. The gym follows and it develops your muscles. But if you actually want to lose the fat on your body, you're gonna have to actually choose a different nutrition plan and switch up what you're eating in the kitchen. All in all, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you took something away from this and learned something. And if you're going to follow this 30 ab routine I created, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy out there. Stay healthy. Peace, y'all.